Hello friends, welcome back to another video of Automation Test Insider. So today I'm going to talk about prototype model. So what happens in prototype model? So basically based on customer requirement, we create a, firstly we create a prototype or you can say dummy model based on their requirement and we'll, we'll test it and present it to the client. And based on their reviews and their feedback, we go for the actual implementation of the software. So this is how it happens in prototype model. Now question arises here is why we, uh, when we use this prototype model. So when customer is new or if they are not sure about their requirements, then we go for this prototype model. Now I'll take you to my system guys where we'll discuss more about prototype model. So let's get started. So guys let's talk about prototype model so before i talk about uh, what i mean by prototype model and when to use prototype model and what are the advantages and disadvantages of prototype model so before that let me talk about the different stages in prototype model like normally when we follow any software development model there are certain stages correct so in the same way what are the different stages in prototype model so first of all we get the requirement from the customer requirement gathering so this is the first point in uh, first stage in prototype model we connect to the customer and we get the requirements from the customer now the second point is quick design quick design why do we do quick design because uh, we want to build a prototype so based on uh, requirements we uh, develop a design and based on that we create a prototype build prototype so this is the next step so so what do you mean by uh, prototype guys so prototype is uh, where it, it's kind of dummy proto uh, prototype or dummy model which i have discussed earlier or uh, you can say replica of the actual software here all the functionalities will not work so we'll showcase uh, like this is how your product will look like to the customer so it's kind of a dummy model we create a dummy model based uh, with the help of developers uh, ui developers and business analyst will just create probably in the image format or maybe half of the functionality will work not even half some of the functionalities will work and we we showcase them uh, some images as well like this is how your prototype will look like now the next step is customer evaluation customer evaluation so based on the customer feedback or customer evaluation we go for the we go for the acceptance okay if customer accepts it accept it then this is called acceptance acceptance or acceptance by customer customer or in case if they they want to make some changes on the prototype uh, suppose they don't like the uh, the ideas which we have given uh, in the form of prototype so what they will what we will do will refine based on based on customer feedback and then again we'll make the changes in the design and again we'll build the prototype and once customer is uh, happy with that if they are okay with that they will, then that is customer acceptance by customer now next is will follow the same procedure like we do in normal software development model like design and then coding and and we have testing and then maintenance at last maintenance so this is the complete uh, procedure or stages in prototype model guys and now now let's talk about like what are the different types of prototypes so we have uh, four types of prototypes uh, prototype model 
So just for your knowledge purpose, I'll uh, talk about them uh, in brief so you can get some ideas. So the first point is the first prototype is rapid throw away. Throw away. What happens in throw, uh, rapid throw away is we give some ideas to the customer like uh, based on their requirements we give them the ideas like uh, this is how your uh, actual product will look like so we'll give so many ideas to the customer and based on the ideas and their feedback from uh, when we get the feedback from the customer on those ideas we'll create a prototype and that will be kind of uh, a quality quality prototype so later on we want uh, spend too much effort to modify on that particular prototype so this is rapid throw away so rapidly we get the customer uh, reviews and uh, feedback and based on that we clear create a quality prototype so that is rapid throw away second is evolutionary 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 prototype so what happens in this evolutionary prototype so here we create a prototype initially uh, create a prototype initially and we keep uh, based on the reviews or based on the feedback from the customer we keep adding on our changes in that particular prototype and later on we go for the final design final design like we have seen the typical uh, uh, workflow or you can say the stages like here we have seen so it is like evolutionary prototype so based on uh, continuous uh, uh, feedback from the customer we create our prototype and then we go for the final design so this is evolutionary prototype what is third one so third one is incremental incremental prototype So this is the third uh, prototype so here what happens is we get the requirements from the customer now based on the requirements we create uh, we divide the task into different uh, smaller modules and we create separate prototype for each of the modules or tasks okay so like we have p1 p2 p3 so these are the different prototypes we need and we'll test at our end and get the feedback from the customer and later on based on the feedback and the changes we make uh, on the particular uh, on uh, the prototype like let's say p1 we get it tested from our end and uh, got the review from the customer and then we made the changes as well based on their feedback and later on we'll keep adding those prototypes in incremental manner incremental means like in this flow only because we this is this p1 has certain requirements it should be built first and then p1 and then p2 p3 p4 and then we'll create the we'll combine all the prototypes and we create the final build final software over here so this is about the incremental and the last one is we have extreme prototype so what happens in extreme prototype is this is basically used for uh, ui uh, development like for uh, which has lot of interactions in the ui so firstly what we do is first we create uh, static pages we create the prototype for static pages or static pages and then for functionality we'll create another prototype so incrementally uh, again we do in this way and uh, we build the final product so based on customer reviews we make the changes on our uh, ui uh, development uh, whatever prototype we have developed so based on the required uh, based on the uh, customer feedback we make the changes and then we, we go for the final build or final product so basically this extreme prototype is useful for uh, UI uh, development as I have discussed earlier. So these are the four types, guys. We have rapid throwaway, the first one prototype, evolutionary prototype, incremental prototype, and extreme prototype. 
now from the next slide let me just recap like what we have discussed so far so the prototyping model is systematic development method in which prototype is built tested and then reworked reworked as necessary based on the customer requirement an acceptable outcome is achieved until an acceptable outcome is achieved so this is the idea behind this prototype model if customer is not having clear understanding of requirement so as i have discussed in the beginning of the uh, of this video if customer is new if customer is new in the market or if client is new and if they if they are not aware of the or if they are not sure about their requirements so in these two cases mostly we use we go for prototype model so this is what we have discussed guys the process so requirement gathering quick design building prototype and then customer evaluation getting the feedback from the customer refine the prototype based on their feedback we change make the changes on the prototype and then go for the engineering product engineering is nothing but development and testing so when to use prototype model so prototype model should be used when the desired system needs uh, to have a lot of interactions with the end users so this is again one of the uh, one of the reasons we have Typically, online systems, web interfaces have a very high amount of interactions with end, end users are the best suited for prototype model because here we are not sure like what to build, what customer actually wants. So we are not sure about what the client wants. So we create a prototype and we make the changes based on, based on uh, customer reviews. What are the advantages of prototype model active involvement so users are actively involved in the development of prototype model so early detection of missing functionality so errors can be detected in the initial stage of the software development process so since we are developing the prototype so and we get it reviewed uh, as soon as it is developed so we can avoid the defects in the early stage of the development life cycle quick feedback so kicker uh, user feedback helps you to achieve better software development solution so since we are building the prototype initially and get it reviewed from the customer we can make the uh, we can achieve a better software development solution by uh, by this process flexibility encourages innovation and flexible designing so this is an, uh, another uh, advantage of prototype model now let's talk about disadvantages so this model is costly and time time consuming why costly because we are building uh, we are putting effort to build prototype and then time consuming to build a prototype will take more time right so it has poor documentation because of continuously changing customer requirements so we need to do a lot of uh, documentation guys so so it is not a quality documentation because of the continuously changing the requirements there may be too much variation in the requirements so this is another disadvantages so this is all about prototype model guys so please like this video share it and comment if you have any questions or if you want to discuss anything and please subscribe to this channel click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos thank you so much have a nice day bye bye